Okay, so the assignment for chapter two is something you've kind of already done. I think there's a preview option here. If there isn't, no, there isn't. Remember that car thing I walked through? I kind of determined which car is cheaper and better and all that stuff. Yeah. But you guys get to do that. I want you to give input for all this stuff. I'm not specifying how you name your variables, but variables are normally called like um, uh, cost per gallon. Okay, so it would probably be like you know, cost with a small c, then per with a capital P, then gallon with a capital G. Makes sense, but all one word, no spaces. So cost per gallon, stuff like that. Then what I want you to determine is the cost per year. Ah, I guess you're gonna determine that twice. <laughs> cost per year, the yearly cost, same thing. The 10 year cost, cost minus incentives, and cost to operate for 10 years, just like we did in class pretty much, okay? Should look something very similar to this. All right? What do you mean by incentives? See, remember how last time we did this, my Volt cost so much more than my Prius? Remember that? Well, I got a $7,500 tax break for doing it. In other words, just for buying the car, they gave me a check for $7,500. Oh, okay. It's an incentive to buy it. A lot of times, like, a lot of times dealers will keep that, but <clears throat> since I didn't, a lot of times when you buy a vehicle, all the incentives go to the dealer, but my didn't because I got mine. So it's. Um, and then the output should look something very similar to this. Okay. Obviously, the numbers will be different depending on what you put in yours. But, um, and you'll notice on here that it's formatted in a specific width. Okay. These format specifiers to ensure all costs are formatted with a total length of eight with two decimal places. Use string concatenation to create the above lines. Upload your script and a screenshot of it running. Okay. Now, what I mean by format with oh, format specifiers, we talked about it a little bit last time. In other words, to get the cost to be a total width of eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, with two decimals. Same thing here. Same thing here. Now you notice this one actually has a space in the front. This one has a space in the front because this is only seven wide. But since I specified eight, it added a space. See that? So if the car was, say, $700, it would have been two spaces. But if the car was more expensive, you know, the 10 year cost, it would then, you know, have less spaces. Okay, so use format specifies for that. Now, obviously, cost to operate four is a string. The 10 is the year that's going to be an integer, so you're going to have to change it. You know, from an integer to a string, you have to put all this in one line. Okay, and we, we talked about string concatenation. Do you have a question? Uh, what if, like, the price, like, what, what if you're doing testing the price exceeds? Eight it will expand to what's needed. Oh, okay. So if it is 10, it will be 10. But that's like a minimum of eight. Okay. Okay. Good, very good question. But I do need to edit it to get rid of the cost. Mm -hmm. extension. I need to get rid of what I have in there. That's a cost per year. I'll get rid of that one twice. How's that? Is that better? And it opens up. Uh, it's due on the tenth, which is next Monday, right before class. Sound good? And it will open up for you guys as soon as we get out of class. So, all right, we need to finish up chapter two. We left off. Let me find my slides. Professor, any questions before we start? Everybody happy? Everybody understand what's going on? Y'all were able to find the recordings when I put them up there? Has anyone actually looked at the recordings? Anybody? Maybe none of you, maybe one of you. Not watched. But they are there just in case you missed something or you missed class. They come in late. All right. We're going to start on slide 73. So. I want us all to do this together today. Actually, graphics. I was gonna have you add it to your program, but I just figured, ah, not today. I want you to add, walk through it today so you can at least get some experience. And there's that whole format specifier thing. That's on slide 72, by the way. Okay, now we're on slide 73. I think I can make this a little bit bigger. 
need to have two things on the screen at one time. Okay, now we're going to talk about graphics. Uh, I will tell you up front that Python does graphics, actually decent graphics, but it's not used a lot. Python is normally a language for doing something like going through logs and extracting data or doing some calculations, stuff like that. It's not normally made for fancy graphics, but it does a decent job, okay? All right, drawing simple graphics is to help you create simple drawings, which I've included a graphics module, so it is built in, and you can import more as well. So they, they do have some quite, com quite complex ones. So the module code and usage instructions are available in the source code of the book, and they also are on the website. Okay, so let's start talking about how this stuff works. Now I think this is the one included with with Python itself. It talks about from graphics import graphic window. Now I'm gonna start a Python program over here. And I'm, this time, rather than open up idle and going new document, I'm just going to do it over here and type <coughs> in 5 SAP 2018.py. So I change it. Now I open it, show and I can come up in Python, which it does, and now I can just edit it with idle. And it should come up to a blank document. Very. Okay, it does. Not, not what Very I wanted to Okay. Now, so I'm going to type in exactly what they have. Spell it right. And if I try to run this, don't tell me that module doesn't. Does it really not come with this one? I thought for sure it did. So this is something they added from the book. They've included a graph, yep, darn it, this it's actually there. It's killing me. Um, no one happens to have the companion module for the book, can you do they? This is Wiley. One of the book name is Wiley, isn't it? <clears throat> Wiley, Python for everyone, second edition. Okay. So where is the companion website? Companion website here. Oh, wait, there's a student companion website. That one probably has what we need. Student companion website. It's from EC Graphics. Import Graphics. It should, should be up on, the, on this website. Browse <coughs> by resource, source code, walking through learning aids. Fine, we'll go. This is chapter two. <coughs> wow, that is really handy. There's nothing here. There's nothing. Fine, I'll go to the instructor website. See if someone can find the darn resource. Okay, there's the PowerPoints. Are you kidding me? PowerPoints, test bank, walkthrough learning aids, source code, maybe with source code. Oh, it is download? Yeah, I guess. Hey, Meg, come on, you can do it. Okay, let's see what's in this file right here. Let's see. I get it. I can always. Okay, we want chapter two. That would be port example. That's not the one we want. Does it say which example it is? Window. Yes, yeah, the window one. Just the one we want. Oh, from. Oh, it is from Easy Graphics. Okay. Chapter two, section six. So let's open up my other one. So that what I did wrong. I didn't put the Easy in there. Yeah. In the book of Easy Graphics. That's all it was this whole time. I, okay, I'm gonna get rid of theirs. My bad, I typed it wrong. 
I would have it now. So now you know. You can go up there and get more stuff. Uh, all right. Did they have it in there? Oh, they're missing easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, so I was in the fault. Okay. Glad to know that. At least I didn't tell the screw. There, I had easy in there now. Okay. So what this will do will take the graphics window component from the easy graphics and allow us to use it. So now, what we're going to do in our next line here is we're going to say win equals graphics window. We want 640 on a 480. All right. And that should give us a new window. Yes. But no X, no X. Hold on. Yes. There is no module. There's no module. Mine works fine. Hold on. I just think y'all are. Make sure you spell the right. All right. So what we did to fix it for some of us, again, that's so weird. This is the module that came from the book. All I did was you know, put it in the same directory as your current program, and it does work. We can do that with a lot of stuff, but that won't always fix it. Once we get to that, we'll cover that another time, but that's not the problem we're having today. Okay, so we got that much working. So if you hit this point here and you hit F5, you should get that. Yep. You all got that? Yep. There we go. Okay. Making progress. So now we have our window. So now we're going to say canvas equals win dot canvas. Oh, I spelled it wrong, but still you'll get the same thing. I just called mine canvas. Cannabis. I guess you said canvas. <laughs> All right. So y'all with me so far? You have that one? Okay. Now we're going to create a drawing. We're going to go canvas. If you spell the canvas, you can just do that name as well. Canvas.drawrect. 15, comma, 10, comma, 20, comma, 30. Hashtag your vector. Okay, Let's see what it does. There you go. We have an amazing <coughs> rectangle there now. Now it's pretty exciting. And then we're going to do win dot wait. That did not work. Win dot wait didn't work? Yeah, it worked. I think oh. I put two R's instead. Yeah, win dot wait. There's actually no R's. In, oh, you did draw a red? Okay. Yeah, that's a rectangle. All right. Yeah, that so it says um, have the program wait for the user to close the window by clicking the close button. Without it, it could terminate immediately and the graphics window could also disappear. I have seen that happen before when you click on something, it just goes away. <laughs> I'm gonna try something here real quick. I'm gonna try running this just like that and it stays up. The reason I'm trying to do this, I wanna show you what happens if you don't click a win weight. So I'm gonna get rid of win weight. Let's put that in front of it. Make sure it still runs. It does. Now I'm going to go over here and click on it. Okay. Let me explain the difference. You all realize that win weight is now turned off. Yes. Okay. Now, if I execute the program just by clicking on it, you'll see it flashes and goes away. See the difference? Because just by clicking on it, invokes Python, runs my script, and exits. If you put the win weight, that tells it. Hold on, don't close on me, wait for input. So now when I put that back in, now when I double click on it, it will stay up and running. See the difference? Because a lot of scripts don't want to run through an editor. You want to just click on them or something. So this way, the win weight will allow us to just click it or just execute it you know, or whatever. Okay. I will tell you that using graphics and stuff like this, using stuff that pops up uses a tremendous amount of resources to make your program excessively slow. When I did my John the Ripper one, it took hours and hours to run because I was popping up what it was doing. Once I disabled all that, it's done in no time. So it really takes up a lot of time. Okay. So now, here we go. We got a window, we got a canvas, then we have our diagram on there. Wow, that's our whole thing. Okay. 
Now, that's what we just did. We can also, we did our rectangle. Let's try changing the size of our rectangle. So we did, you know, 15, 10, 20, let's go to like 50, 50, 50. 50, 50, 50, 50. 50, 50, 50, actually we can do 50, 50, 50, 30. Otherwise it's not, there you go. So what it's doing is, it's, you know, it's giving us the X and Y coordinates and then the sign. <coughs> so if I go like 300 at the end, now it's going to be down 50 over 50, 50 tall and 300 long. Well, the other way, put you this way. Yeah. I can never remember which one's X or Y. So you can change that very easily. And let's so there's draw. Let's draw a oval. So I'm gonna go up here above my wind weight. I'm gonna put canvas. Dot draw oval draw. Draw oval, and we'll put that one at a hundred. Actually, let's put it at two hundred. Comma two hundred. Now, with an oval, we just need the height. We're nowhere to the. Uh, we really need width and height. That's right. It's not a circle. So let's go with uh, fifty fifty. Actually, let's go fifty six. That way, it's not quite a circle. Yeah. No. What I do wrong? Uh, missed the parenthesis. There you go. Now we have one. It's not quite a circle. I made them the different size. Uh, yeah, all right. And we do 200, 200. So it's over. Now that's in pixels. Actually, you know, that's a good, square. A good point here. Our screen is 640 by 480. So looking at this, it's 640 across. So that's about 200 and 200. So we should, so if we want to put it right in the center, where should we do it? Zero, zero. So if it's going to be the size of 50, so 640 across, half of that would be 320. And so we need to back it up. How far? We want to be right in the center. Which one? Uh, we're, we're doing the oval. Let's, let's put the oval right in the middle. Actually, let's make it into a circle. So my oval is now going to be 50 50. I want it exactly centered. So where can I put it? Anybody? The X and Y. We go X first. That's this way. So the 640, what's half of 640? 320. 320. Now I also have to back up half the width of it. So how wide is it? <coughs> now it's 50. It's 50 wide. My circle is 50 wide. Mm -hmm. So if 640 is 320, then we need to go back 25 more. So that would be 320 would be 290, all right? 295. 295. Now the 640, uh, the 480, half of that would be 240. But we also need to go back to 250. All right, let's see. No, Part. not quite there. We're gonna fix this. That should be the X. Oh, wait, duh, my bad. Sorry, I meant to put that here. My bad. Oh, my fault. Sorry, I did I changed the size, not the location. Now it should be centered. There it is. Is that centered? That's yeah. darn close. Now the question I have is, I don't know, I've never played with this module. How can we determine the window height? Let's find out. I want to determine how big the window is. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say Python Easy Graphics Modules. All right. I want you to tell me what's available in it. Reference guide, 2.1 reference guide. Let's assume this is the one. Camera side, I'm sticky. Wow, they really don't have all that much. Yeah. 
about the coordinate system? Wait, the integrate with it. Yeah. I was trying to get one we could return the width of the window, and I don't see it. Graphics window. <clears throat> and find the size. Aha. Clear, draw arc, draw this, draw, draw, draw. Wow, you won't do this. What is it? Item above, item below, raise, lower. You want the get. You got to get the size. Oh, uh, set height, set width. It's got to be a. Oh, there, it's just width. Okay. So it's width and height. So now what we should be able to say is this is the X, so this is width. Do you agree? So canvas dot width divided by two. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it's working. All right. So what I'm trying to do is make it if our window's bigger, I don't have to divide it. So this one would be window canvas dot dot height. Divided by two, still not quite centered. Spell height wrong. How do I spell height? H e i g h t. H e i g h t. What did I close my program? H e i g h t. Ah, the whole H before T thing. Seriously? Okay, what are you doing? Canvas that width. We got that one correctly. Wouldn't you? Oh, <laughs> let's put that in there. There we go. Okay, but you still got one problem. Actually, let's try this real quick. Let's change this up to be. I'm gonna get rid of my rectangle. I wanna make sure it's working. I'm gonna bring this down to 240 by 280. See if it still says somewhat centered. Okay, so it's somewhat working. Okay. But how can we find out the width of our oval? Apparently, I don't think we can. Width of your oval? Yeah, because we can't find it out because we haven't drawn it yet. So if we did oval with now I can change this. You have to pre register it. That should fix that. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a second. Okay, that's working. Now, okay, that's where the, the really complex math comes in, everybody. Anyone following along what I'm doing with well, how am I getting in position? Okay, so what I did was. I told it my oval was going to be 50 by 50. So I told it to draw at the x coordinates would be the width of my canvas. It's right up there, divided by two. And then y coordinates could be the height of my canvas, divided by two. But where am I positioning my oval? At 50 50. But since I want to center it, I need to take the oval width, what? What do I need to do with it? Minus. Uh, over with divided by two. Yeah. So I got to divide this by two as well. That way we'll go back half. So I should be able to say over with divided by two and over height divided by two as well. Should be perfectly centered. And this is just the center, basically? Yep, just the center. I want to make it a little bigger now. I want it to be 200 
by 200 so it should be taking up pretty much the entire screen at this point. Oh, wow. I didn't even show. I think we got a problem. Mm -hmm. it's not well, we're going to fix it. We ain't going home till we fix it. So what did we do wrong? Well, then no die. Didn't we subtract by like beforehand to get the oh, coordinate? Oh, duh. So wait a minute. Yeah, we need the coordinates to be half the window. Okay, we get okay. Half the half the width and the height of the canvas minus right. So that's right. We need to take this information divided by two. Yeah, hold on. Let's let's try that. Minus this. Let's try it. Okay, it's it's centered that way. What do you do? Hold on, I'll explain. That's still not there. Okay, we're gonna fix this. We're getting rid of all this stuff at the end. I don't like it. I think. Oh. Uh, I think you. We did 50 50 originally. I think you changed the y coordinate. Yeah. Okay. So let's make our window square. Can get this to work. Okay, our window is now square. So if that's square. So if our window's 240, so if we're 240 by 240. Okay. Mm -hmm. So where do we need to draw our oval? I changed the wrong one. Is what I so I need to draw it at, so this middle, so this is my window, it's now square. This is the middle. So this would be 120. But I also need to go back half of the width, half of the size. <coughs> So I need to do it at the canvas width divided by two. We're giving you 120, correct? Mm -hmm. So I need canvas width divided by two minus the oval width divided by two. That will be my position. Yeah, that's how we need to do it. Okay, got it now. These last two are just oval width, oval height. I found out why it's not working. But um, so the reason why it's messing up is because the x and y coordinate that you put in is actually the top left corner of the boundary box. So, but I bet. Okay. Well, so your you didn't the top left by corner two. is in the center. Right. So we need to subtract this from there now. <coughs> Oh, is it drawing the circle? So is this, hold on, let's go back and look at what the, and I want to write out this down. <laughs> We're going to get this, hold on. Where is, so that's what the top left corner is in the center. We need to yeah. fix that. So the top left corner needs to go back and up. Well, that's, that's what I was just trying to do. So it's the width. Yeah, take the. And then subtract minus by. oval width <laughs> divided by two. Okay, that fixed that. Do the same for the height. Yep, do the same thing for the height. Minus divided by two. Is that the one? Fair? Maybe. Yes! Yeah. Success. That was a lot more work than I expected. Okay, does everybody understand what I just did there? Yeah. Just, just for the fact, so we can see it better on the screen, I'm going to rename my variable shorter, even though I don't really like to do that. Because now, that way you can see all the math and why trying to minus over with. 
I think shift backwards. Let's see if it still works. If I screw it up, and it's still working. <coughs> All right. And I wish there was. Actually, I'm going to make this even shorter. I'm going to put canvas with equals canvas. I guess this is my disconnector right here. I don't. WID. Why are we using the minus? What would that be? Okay. Let's go to the next one. Let's make it small so y'all can see it. <laughs> Yeah, I just killed it, but I do wrong. I'm never gonna remember that. Canvas width. Nice though. Canvas height. Okay, I just screwed it up. What did I do? Let's undo a couple. I think it's the fact that you still have the uh, parentheses. Because you have CW oh, yeah. oh, you don't need a duh. Yeah. Good catch. I can understand problems with code, but I still understand what we're doing. Okay. Again. All right. What we did was I just created some variables so the names are short. Yeah. Okay. So we want to draw it. Now, when we draw it, we got two different things that happened to Razor. <laughs> wow. It's your old fees aren't enough. We can't afford real erasers. <laughs> Not That's totally the issue. The fees aren't high enough. Yeah. yeah. That's taking more money. Okay. So I have our oval width and oval height. We know what that is. So that's how big my oval is. And the canvas width and canvas height is the size of the window. We got that. We okay on these four lines right here? Yep. So where are we going to draw this oval? Well, we got to draw it at the x, comma y, comma the height and the width. So where do we want to draw? It? Well, we want to take the width of our canvas, with how big our window is, divided by two. So if our window is two hundred and forty, this becomes one hundred and twenty. So we're drawing it at one hundred and twenty. So that means we are literally right here in the center at this point, okay? Because this gives me 120 and this gives me 120. But I don't want to be in the center. I want to go backwards and up half the size of our circle. So we're going to subtract the width of the oval divided by two. So if it's 200, we got to subtract 100. So we're going back by oh, 120. So left 100. Plus another hundred. Okay? Because we went back. So our x coordinate is 120. Right here. 120. And then again, not really plus, but a, a minus the width of the oval. So we keep going back more and more. So that's how we got there, and we do the same thing for height. So if this works correctly, I should now be able to change this to 640 by 480. And it should automatically center. Well, so what happens if I set it back to 240 by 240, but make this thing 500? Let's say 400. That's the big question. Should be off the screen. It is. It's off the screen. I should be able to drag my screen. Okay, no, I can't. Not, this module doesn't support it. Well, that sucks. Some oh, modules you can reset the window. Obviously, this one you can't. So I can't read. So we can't see. So what if we made it? Let's go 300 by 300. So we should be able to see just the part of it. Yep. There you go. <clears throat> now, if we knew loops at this point, we can make it draw multiple times, but we haven't covered loops. Kaden's like, no, no, don't do that. 
us to have. So we did that last semester. We did all kinds of loops and colors and yeah. so. Ever so good so far on this? Everyone? Okay. All right. So you can draw all kinds of stuff. You can also fill them with certain colors. Okay. Let's set it. Let's let's do a fill. What color will this be? Let's draw. And we're going to go, I think we can do it after the fact. We should be able to put in a color. And obviously, we like blue. <laughs> well, that failed. Is it canvas <laughs> not fill? I thought it was canvas not fill. Uh, oh, mobile. set fill. Yeah, set fill. Oh, but it should take the number, shouldn't it? So is the set fill the smaller? You have to put it above the shape. Really? That really sucks. Yeah, when you have to put it in front. Mm -hmm. Hold on. We can't fill it after the fact. Yay! It's not blue. <coughs> but we need to make it a little smaller so we can see it all. Oh yeah, because you have to set what color it would be. Isn't that special? Now, can we fill the window? We can set the outline color. What color outline do we want? Set. Okay, we don't understand gold. I don't understand gold. There we go. Wow, I didn't do anything because of that weird. It just wouldn't print anything because you guess it couldn't wait. There we go. Is that yellow? That's not really magenta at all. Maybe. Is it that's oh yeah, the border? Yeah. Here, let's go with yellow here. Blue here. That's working. Mm. Aren't you guys totally happy with that? So we can make it certain sizes. Oh, there's our colors. So there's no gold. Um, there's not a yeah, there is. What the heck? So we need gold. So we need some gold. Yeah, that word still looks about mm -hmm. yellow to me. Alright. That is the end of this chapter. Uh, you can also specify like they're doing right here. The RGB, the red, green, blue numbers as well. But it's up to you. Those are more precise. Okay. Now since all of you work so hard on this. I'm going to add an additional assignment for today. Ooh, so you get credit for doing this. Okay. And you just got to upload a screenshot of it. Of the image or the program? I think we just upload a program. <laughs> Does these are some great screenshots? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to call this one chapter two in class. Upload a screenshot of what we created in class. Like right now? You can upload it right now. This is going to be worth 100 points. It's going to be a file upload. And it's due now. Right now. I should do it at the end of time today. So now. I'll let you do I'll let it happen by the by the night tonight. And it should appear soon as I link it to the module. You want to do in class. There we are. You should see that one. Uh, just, and I will indent this one. Okay, can I see that one now? I'm going to make assignment two available. So if you want to start working on that one, you can. That's Wahoo.
How do you keep your screen shot with these? Uh, snipping tool. Is it just print screen? Yeah. No, use snipping tool. So why you print screen? Screen. Yeah, snipping yeah. tool is so much better. You all know what snipping tool is, don't you? Yeah, it's yeah. the greatest type of piece. It is, isn't it? I will show you a demo of snipping tool. So I just ran my program. I'm going to hit the Windows button. Type snip. It goes right up. Snipping tool. Now I'm going to go over here. Once it comes up, I'm, it's already on new. So I'm going to draw a box right here, and voila. Now I have a cup. It's already in my clipboard. I can save it. I can do whatever I want to. But there's something else you can do with this show. I'm going to show you. OK, there's an option under not on Windows 7. Well, that sucks. In Windows 10, there's a delay option. Huh. Okay, you can't do that on Windows 7. Windows 10, you can actually delay it for like, you ever want to get a screenshot of you clicking something where the when, when menus expand, you can set the delay for like two seconds. So that way you can <coughs> click it, and then it'll show what you have expanded on the window. So, so all right, so add that up there, and you get credit for today. What? You want to have weird colors, you can do that as well. Uh, Again, you do not you need to use these short names. The only reason I did is so it all showed on the screen at one time. So those of you, you who did not follow along, you have a few seconds to look at what I wrote. <laughs> You're lost. Yeah, I can't. I'm just not on. I can't get one of those hands. Ah, I see how it is. Oh. You just want the screenshot, right? Just the screenshot is all I need oh. for the second one. So if you got the screenshot, you got it working. I should be able to paint it, right? The screenshot? Should you do it with what? We should be able to paste it. Oh. No, you can't paste it. Save it as a file and upload the file. Yeah, you don't have the ability to paste it in there. I don't either, but sucks. In Canvas, you can't just paste it in there. And snipping tool to save it as a file. Just click the little save button. Yeah. How do you know where it says resubmit? It's just resubmit. Like I, I, I submitted it. Yeah, it was a screenshot. Let's get the right of it. It should take some to submit it. Okay. Yep, there it is. Submit it. There you go. Just I just want to make sure it actually downloads correctly. All right, so I'm going to stop the recording. Let's see what I do. Do the whole thing.